Hey everyone, long time no see, I know. Saw the Captain America Brave New World trailer. There's some things I want to say. Let's start off with, let's start off with what I liked about the trailer. I like that Isaiah from Falcon and the Winter Soldier, um, the original Captain America or Super Soldier was in there. Um, I definitely wanted to hear more about his story and what he's gone through since the years leading after Falcon and the Winter Soldier uh, leading up to now. I liked seeing the Red Hulk, Thunderbolt Ross. I know the previous actor, I believe his name is William Hurt, passed away. Um, as replaced by Harrison Ford. Great choice. Harrison Ford's kick ass. I know he's going to do a really great job at that. I liked seeing that. I liked the look of the film. It looked very clean. Seeing Captain America going at mock speed in his new suit. I hope he has something to protect his neck to go that fast. Either an exoskeleton or something. That was really cool. I've never... Now let's kind of get into my thoughts. I've never seen a trailer where I was ambiguous about how I felt. What I mean by that is I felt so many feelings, um, but they're all muddled up into a big glob of emotions and feelings. I'll start off with this. Sam Wilson is a, is a decent character. Since his inception in, I believe, Civil War, he was a character. No, I'm sorry. Since his inception in Winter Soldier, he was a character I, I liked. Uh, he was very supportive, very man of action, able to kind of look at all different sides and kind of bring some type of harmony to what people were encountering. You know, he was helping out Natasha and, and Steve when they were on the run. He didn't he didn't ask for you. He, he admired Steve and what he stood for. Um, and Steve also admired him and, and what he what Sam has gone through. So there was a, a nice connection there over the years where we've seen Falcon before he became Captain America. He grew more into being an Avenger. You know, he was always funny, uh, always throwing like, you know, one liners, um, him and, you know, Bucky kind of going back at going back and forth. And, and Civil War was hilarious. They had a really great chemistry and him and Steve and him interacting with different characters, different Avengers, you know, him and Ant-Man. You know, he had a great chemistry no matter who he's paired up with. But he was kind of always in the background as, as support. And that was expected. I guess they were training him up to kind of move him up to a more senior role. And he was. He was trained up more into a senior role. It was, it was, it was implied. And so when Infinity War happened, he did his he did his thing along with, you know, Rhodey. And th that was great to see. But as I watched him over the years before he came and then when he finally became Captain America, he never seemed to be a character that stuck with me. I know he's black. um, And it should be suffice to say that just because a character is of a different shade a shade that's like mine or, you know, a gender like mine or, you know, something that's shared doesn't mean I should. I wouldn't say. Not like them, but I shouldn't there shouldn't be a default where I should immediately like them is what I'm trying to say. Um, a, a lot of his qualities were somewhat passive, somewhat in the background, and I, I liked more gung ho, decisive leader ship like characters and then we came to his show if when disney plus finally gave him falcon and the winter soldier and in that show it was very messagey it was very you know he's a, a, a former avenger a current avenger who is down on his luck he doesn't have a lot of money to pay his bills you know support his sister you know they're kind of questioning how did you work all these years and not pay for anything like that didn't make any sense you didn't get any <clears throat> stipend or anything so there are a lot of like socioeconomical issues and, you know, cultural issues of him being a black man, not only in America, but a black man that's been given the mantle to be the next Captain America. And I have to say, I don't mean to jump back and forth. I, I, one of the most powerful things that I saw in Endgame, other than like Iron Man doing what he needed to do was when Steve Rogers, as an old man, sit on the bench and he talked to Sam and he said, listen, I'm going to give you this shield. You're, you're the next Captain America. And I don't know if Steve Rogers had any implications on, knew about the implications of, of doing that, the symbolic, the, the historical implications of doing that. I don't think he thought that through. And I don't, I, I'm not entirely sure if he thought that through. I don't, I'm not sure if that was the point. I think Steve Rogers gave him that shield because he saw 
the same thing like he saw in himself. I see somebody who's defied against all odds to rise up despite how he was born to become a symbol, a symbol of um, hope, a symbol of loyalty, of, of leadership, someone who can weather the storm and all the slings and arrows that have come from being born in a country um, and, and, and become a hero, a world hero, a, a, a universal hero, you know? And that was really powerful. I, I, I kind of choked up a little bit when he gave him that shield and Sam kind of reluctantly saying, I, I won't let you down, you know? But Sam knowing that like, I have a lot against me. Like this shield is more than just a shield. It's you're literally, literally giving me the crown to be the next Captain America and nobody's going to see me. No one's going to accept me as the next Captain America. I don't even know if I'm going to set myself as, as Captain America, you know, but I'm willing to stand by my friend, my mentor, my hero, my brother in arms and uphold the mantle of Captain America. And that's a, that was a heavy weight that Sam undertook. And that was something that, you know, is scary and something I was proud to see him do. But as we saw in the Falcon and Winter Soldier, he, of course, faced opposition of him not really having that vibe of Captain America not having the look of Captain America. And that was all well documented. Um, and I felt the show had a lot of issues with too much messaging and, and not enough entertainment, not enough like, okay, I understand struggle. He sees Captain America struggle, Captain struggles, but we have to kind of like, are we going to get past that and him kind of embrace despite all of the, despite all the hurdles and burdens that he's encountering of being the next Captain America, him embracing that mantle. And it never quite got there. It never, I never, I never f looked back on Falcon and the Winter Soldier and said, yeah, that's a, that's, that's, I'm going to watch that again. I'm going to, because that character, Sam, that guy is Captain America. It never stuck with me. And not because he's, he's black. He, he never, in the show never let him embrace that had never let him show him being Captain America one because he was teamed up with Falcon. And I know there was like, there's a comic book of Falcon and the winter soldier. I know I understand that, but like, if you want someone to stand on their own, wouldn't it be better to not pair him with connections to the past, specifically one of Steve Rogers, best friends and let Sam find his own way. And it didn't seem like, Disney, and I'm not saying Anthony Mack, I'm sorry. Anthony Mack didn't want to rise to that occasion. I think he dealt with what was written, but it, I, I was never won over, is what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm going around Robin Hood's barn to say it. Looking at this trailer, this latest trailer, Captain America, Brave New World, once again, I see all these different things I really like. And when it got back to Sam Wilson, it was like low energy. It was. Once again, you're not Steve Rogers. I fucking know I'm not Steve Rogers. I know. I'm Sam Wilson. Like, I didn't feel em he embraced that. And I felt I didn't feel a reason for me to side with his character. And I really hope this movie changes my mind. I'm tired of Marvel revisiting their heyday with a lot of their properties and not doing something new. And what I mean by like new, I mean like fucking X-Men. Like just, just, can we just please do X-Men? Can we just get onto that boat? But we keep revisiting the Avengers. We keep revisiting characters that remind us of past Avengers without having substantial time from then to now of us like, seeing something new and i think think sam wilson captain the new captain america has another hill to climb if this movie if i watch this movie and i'm still not won over by sam wilson i never will be like he's he's had he's had chances more chances than most um to kind of like stand out and if this movie doesn't make him stand out and embrace the mantle of captain america i don't think i'll ever want to see another sequel there was kind of like 
I wouldn't compare them. I wouldn't compare compare Sam Wilson to Miles Morales. But when Miles Morales came out, there was a huge uproar in the comic book community. A black fucking Spider Man. Oh no, this will never be. You'll never be Spider Man. You'll never be Spider Man. And over the years, you know, Miles Morales became his own man. He became his own Spider Man, so to speak. And he's now embraced to some extent within the community. He's had like. He's appeared in like two or three games. You know, he's had almost two, three movies, which were all really, really good. But I don't think Disney is willing to invest that much time into crafting Sam Wilson. And I could be wrong. I'm, I'm glad to be wrong. I don't think Disney has that much faith. Or maybe they do. And this like this movie is like a Hail Mary. Like this movie is like the last ditch effort to say, like, if he can't nail this movie if it doesn't succeed then maybe we shouldn't do any more movies with sam wilson maybe we should just focus on red hulk and you know all these other characters and and the thunderbolts and all that stuff but yeah i was ambivalent to the trailer i I did get goosebumps when i saw it and usually that's an indicator something's good for me personally um but then as i like fully digest what i was seeing every time i saw sam wilson come on the screen I liked his outfit. I like, you know, how he's how his new his new suit gives him, you know, more more precision and power and stuff like that. That's that's great. But when he spoke, I it was just very low energy. It was just very like, I, yeah, I know I'm not, you know, you know, and, and and I guess it's in some ways is a testament to following in the footsteps of you know Chris Evans version of captain america how you know he had very clear themes you know he's there for loyalty he's against bullies he's there for friends he's there for the the truth no matter where it leads him um he's there to uphold the values and all this stuff like that and some of these themes were easy for him because he was a white male you know he's able to kind of like move in and be accepted within upholding some of these these values these American values um, because he's a white male, but when it on the lens of those same values reflected on a black man, there's a, it's very loaded. There's a lot of baggage there. And I, I appreciate Disney Marvel attempting to show the baggage of being someone who's grown up in a country that really doesn't give a fuck about him, that, you know, doesn't care if he's a hero, that they don't believe in him. And what I need Sam Wilson to do, what I need Anthony Anthony Mackie can do, to do, and I know he's capable. Like Anthony Mackie has always exceeded expectations. He's always defied expectations as as an actor. But what I need him to do is show that I don't care if the world doesn't believe in me. I don't care if my country doesn't believe in me. I believe in me. I'm going to protect my country. I'm going to protect this world. I'm going to protect the values, you know, and I am Captain America. I'm not your version of Captain America. I am this new generation's Captain America. I need him to embrace that. And if he embraces that, that'll be great. Um, Before I close out, I know it's been long and rambly. I'm really sick and tired of like Marvel chasing the Black Panther zeitgeist, that energy. Um, Just stop. Just, whatever you're doing, just fucking stop. Black Panther was a once in a lifetime event, a once in a lifetime moment from a once in a lifetime individual. There will never be another Chadwick Boseman. I don't care who else you get to replace the black used to, to be Black Panther. It, there will never be, there will never be another Chadwick Boseman. He is Black Panther. That that that's it. That's that's for, final. Now, I don't mind you guys doing more Black Panther movies, but to say that we're going to capture that same feeling, that same vibe, and we want all of our Black or POC movies to embody that same vibe and energy, that's that's a fallacy on your part from a marketing standpoint, from just a common sense standpoint, just to look at where we are now compared to where we were then. There will be more zeitgeist moments but you can't make a zeitgeist from borrowing from another zeitgeist. That, that's, I don't, it, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't, it's a, it doesn't work. I don't foresee it. And maybe, maybe it will. I, I'm like, I said, I'm glad to be wrong, but it, it really pisses me off to see you guys see Marvel 
chasing this vibe, this feeling. When it's gone, that, that, that moment is gone. That person is gone. And what he represents is gone. And to make Blade, you know, to find, I'm only assuming that that's the reason why it's been delayed so much. To make Blade the next Black Panther. To make Captain America, Brave New World, the next, the next Black Panther. Or whatever Marvel property you have, the next Black Panther. So just stop. Please. It, you're ruining the ability to tell a basic story with the characters that you have. Just write what you have to write. It needs to be good. I'd rather take good than perfect or great. If, if it's good, then I can see it again. If it's good, I'll tell people about it. If it's good, hopefully a sequel will come in that'll be even better. But to make it like Black Panther, let's just stop that. Um, so yeah, that, that's really all I got. Sorry if I was going all over the place. I really tried to write this out, but my emotions got the better of me. I'm actually more passionate talking about how dispassionate I was at certain parts of seeing the trail than you know actually watching the trail. So it's kind of weird. Again, thank you all for your comments, for your support. Um, if you're new to this channel, if you like what I had to say, feel free to like, share it, subscribe it, or not. That that's that's totally fine. Everyone have a great weekend, and I'll see you later. Cabs out. Oh,